On the weekend, immediately after Saturday's peaceful but very heartfelt march, I acknowledge the hurt and the frustration and the anger and the emotional fatigue that I know many people are feeling across North America, including in our own city. I went on to say that we are shocked at what we see happening in the United States, but we must acknowledge that we are not immune from some of those very same issues right here. Anti-black racism does exist in our city and in our country. That is an important and, a, and honest acknowledgement for me to make as your mayor because it forms an important part of the framework for action. You have to be honest about the existence of a problem if you want to meaningfully address it. This past weekend, thousands of people marched peacefully in our city to register a total rejection of anti-black racism and anti-indigenous racism, causes shared by all of us. We have taken some important first steps in the City of Toronto by establishing, for example, North America's first anti-black racism unit, which is hard at work on this issue inside the government of the City of Toronto. The peaceful march we saw here in Toronto indicates a genuine desire of many people to be heard on these issues and to help to find solutions. I am proud of the way that we as Torontonians expressed our solidarity and our determination to do better. The fight for justice and equality and the fight against racism and discrimination is one that all Torontonians support. That means we must step up our efforts and renew our dedication to this cause like never before. As Masai Ujiri said it so well today, the conversation can no longer be avoided because it is hard. 